Wait a minute. This is Florida. So we're driving to work and I'm just scrolling through my Facebook and I saw this guy posted a picture of a shark where I do my morning walks and sometimes in the summer I'll get in the water in the morning when it's like super hot outside at 7 o'clock in the morning and I was like wow I wonder what kind of shark this is so I'm reading the comments and they're all saying like it's a bull shark so I'm like oh I wonder if a bull shark is like dangerous or anything or if it's just like one of those sharks that just chills so I google and it says bull sharks are the most dangerous shark in the world according to many experts because they're aggressive and tend to hunt in waters that people swim, typically along tropical shorelines. So that's fun. I don't think it scares me enough to not go in the water anymore because I'm just not really scared of that kind of stuff, but it's something to think about. Good morning, I cannot believe it is officially my first day back to work since vacation. I'm already ready to go back on vacation. I am totally not prepared to come back to work today. Thankfully today is a little bit of an easier day. It's probably the easiest day of this entire trip because the next two days, oop, there goes the light. Sorry y'all. I was saying the next two days of this trip are not gonna be easy. Today we have two flights. I'm only working one of them though. I work from Tampa to Chicago and then from Chicago to Detroit we deadhead on the express airline which I talked about in yesterday's video. So if you're curious about that, make sure to go back and check that out. Tomorrow we have a very early sign in. We do Detroit to Newark and then Newark to San Diego, which is blocked at six hours and eight minutes. A quite a long flight. We could literally make it to Dublin in that time. And then on day three, we work San Diego to DC and then DC to Tampa. So the next two days are going to be very, very long. So I'm gonna enjoy my little short day with the deadhead today while I can. Not sure if we're gonna do anything in Detroit today. I am flying with this guy who's new to Tampa and uh, he's excited to fly with us today. He's super nice. Um, I told him we were working together and he was like, oh my gosh. So I think he might want to do something. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm kind of tired. I'm not going to lie. We got up at four o'clock for this trip. So I really might not be in the mood to do anything when we get to Detroit. My first trip wearing the holiday tie. So hard to see. Here we go. Here's a good view. My little candy cane tie and then John has on the blue version of this. Aw, he got my luggage out for me. This is my first trip in so long taking a full size suitcase. I usually just take my turn bag because I typically don't do more than a two day trip but this month I have three days so that's gonna be fun. It's actually freezing outside right now. I cannot believe this is the weather in Florida. Burr! It's only 51 degrees which is kind of crazy. Feels like 50. Woo, no thank you. When we get inside this morning, I'm actually working first class up in the front with John. I'm doing the galley, he's the purser or the lead flight attendant. We do have a breakfast service on this flight, so I wanna say on this one we have 20 passengers in first class. I'll have to cook them breakfast, serve it to them. I don't know if we'll have hot towels on this leg. And that's pretty much it. I like the morning flights because people typically sleep. It's kinda hit or miss. Some people like to work on their computers, others sleep, so we'll see how it goes. I'm excited because I think we get to the Detroit at like one o'clock or something, like super early. So it'll give me a little bit of time to relax. Good morning, Phoebe. TPA is decorated for all the holidays. We have the menorah over here. We have the main Christmas tree. And then over here, I hope I pronounced this correctly, but we have the Kwanzaa Kinara, Kinara. So pretty. On the way to the gate, I stopped over at Nuts on Clark and got some snacks for the layover. I got the cheddar popcorn and then I also got, I think it's Oreo popcorn. I wanted something sweet, something salty. And this was actually a good deal. It was like 11 bucks for the two. I thought it was gonna be way more. So I'm excited to pig out on these. We have a little bit of a sit here now. I think we have like 10 or 15 minutes before we start boarding. We are deadheading on United Express, like I said earlier. So we're flying on the small plane today. I call it the Barbie jet, so fly on the Barbie jet. I'm hoping I'm able to bring my suitcase on because sometimes with the regional planes, it's hit or miss whether or not they can hold the bag. So I'm really hoping I can because I have my laptop in there and I really don't want something to happen to it. So if God forbid I have to check my bag, I'm just gonna grab my laptop and carry it on the plane with me. It's still really early. It's like 10 o'clock here in Chicago. I think we get to Detroit at like one. So we 
have pretty much a full day. Uh, we are staying near the airport tonight though, so I'm not really sure if we're gonna do anything on the layover. But even if not, it'll still be fun. We'll make the best of it. I have a good crew. I'm flying with John and our other friend. All male crew, which is super fun. I am currently on bag patrol for everyone. They went to get coffee, so I said, I'll hold the bags down over here for y'all. There's our little plane, little Barbie jet taking us over to Detroit. It looks so nice out for once in Chicago. It's like not gloomy and gray, but I think it's really cold here. Uh, yeah, it's 31 degrees. No, thank you. Let's see in Tampa if it warmed up. Oh, Tampa only 56. Gosh. Made it to Detroit. Okay, hold on. This was not here when I was based here. If you know me, you know I was so excited to see this. Oh my gosh. John, how's it feel to be back in Detroit? Oh my God, it looks the same. Nothing has changed. Nothing changed. Do you miss being based here? Tampa's better though. <laughs> we used to walk this every day to get on the employee shuttle. Oh, memories. Literally the steepest escalator known to man. Just got to Detroit, an hour and 25 minute flight. I slept most of the flight, which was super nice. I was so exhausted. It's freezing here. My crew is waiting outside. John and my other crew member, they're waiting outside for the shuttle. Absolutely not. Could not be me right now. I am so excited to get to the hotel and relax. I don't think we're gonna do anything today just because the weather is not very nice. This is my first trip of the year where I brought a pair of sweatpants with me, so I'm so excited to put them on, have a cozy day, and just hang out and relax. Even though I just got back from vacation, I feel like we were so go, go, go the whole time, so I'm so excited to just be at the hotel, nothing to do, nowhere to go, and relax. Oh, feels good to be in the hotel. This room is nice, it's very spacious. This bed looks comfy. Ooh, it's definitely gonna be comfy. I don't think that we have a view, but can't can't hurt to check. Uh, yep, no view. There's a parking lot over there. And the road. <laughs> <sighs> it is around six o'clock right now. We've had such a relaxing layover. We've literally laid in bed for like the last four hours watching holiday movies, eating popcorn. We did go downstairs and heat up our food. I didn't bring my camera down. I forgot it up here. Honestly though, the food we brought was not good. John, what do you think? Oh, I totally effed up yesterday. I, put, I love you for trying, I though. I put some concoction and everything that was in our pantry. John was like, let's just make this a like, chicken and pasta thing. And he put all these spices in. I applaud him for trying, but if we're being honest, it did not come out good. I'm going to say that because John said that. If John thought it was good, I would lie and say that it was good, too. <laughs> but um, he also agreed that it was not good at all. So we're going to, like, walk across the street and get something little for dinner. There's not much here in Detroit to get, so we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a McDonald's across the street. So like, I'm gonna get like a McChicken or something, or I don't even know. I was thinking that in 2024, I wanna become a vegetarian. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking I wanna become a vegetarian, but I'm not really sure. I might just give up red meat completely in 2024 and see how that goes and stick to chicken. And I wanna start eating a lot more fish in 2024. I'm still new to eating fish, but I actually really like it. So I think I'm gonna keep trying it. We'll see how that goes. Oh, before I forget, I've been wanting to tell the story all day. The last time I was in this hotel was actually the day I got hired at my air. Line. Uh, I was on a layover here back when I used to work at Spirit and for whatever reason I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning and I checked my email and I had the email from my airline offering me the job so I was like John wake up right now and check your phone and we actually both got hired the same day and then what's funny about that trip is the girl we were flying with at Spirit actually came to United with us a few months later she has since left and went to Delta but no shade we still love her but it's just funny and I think I'll always have that memory of the Detroit layover just a fun fact so yeah it is six o'clock now we're gonna go grab some food and then we want to be in bed early tonight because tomorrow is gonna be an early morning a very long day we have have to sign in at the airport at 6 15 we do detroit to newark which is a super short flight i think maybe like less than two hours and then we have a very very long flight tomorrow we do newark to san diego which is blocked at over six hours oh that's so long so so long but it's gonna be good we have a good crew it's gonna be fine so i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go get some food well we decided to split some chicken nuggets and some fries john got an apple pie Fun fact about me, I have never had a McDonald's apple pie. I had high C, but I finished it. What? Oh! Mm -hmm. 
Okay, my camera just went flying. What a great start. We are gonna get ready for bed now. It is only 9.15, but we have to be up at like four o'clock, so. Early to bed tonight for our long day tomorrow. This was a nice layover. It was kind of just everything I needed post vacation just to relax and chill. Literally watched Christmas movies and laid in bed and ate popcorn all day. So I could not have asked for a better layover. Oh, I just hope tomorrow goes fast. I, I know it's not gonna be that bad. I feel like today's vlog is gonna be probably a little bit short, but it's honestly just because I didn't really do anything today and I can't really vlog on the plane. So that takes up a big chunk of the day, but I'll try my best as Vlogmas goes to get some more clips for y'all. But I just wanted to say, Good night and thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to be better about ending my videos because people are like, oh my God, Hunter, it's so much better when you put an ending to the video. So I'm trying to be more self-conscious about that. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Vlogmas. Good night.